Hello, welcome to AAT Level 3 Spreadsheets for Accounting. Here we're in Chapter 4 of the Osborne uh, book, and we're going to do, we're on uh, page 112 um, to, uh, onwards, and uh, we're going to do the date functions in here. So, um, I've done a different example to the uh, to the book in here, um, I've got some invoices here, so in my invoice name, I've got the amounts that were old, so these invoices were old, and the date that they're created, can we work out how old they are in this age line? Yeah, based on today's date. So we downloaded it uh, from our, our finance system and we just want to know we want to put in today's date and then uh, see where we're going. Um, I could put in today's date, uh, but this is like the 19th of uh, January, but let's go equals today, open bracket and close bracket. Okay, so that's the function there. Um, you could also use the function wizard. Uh, I'm not going to use it for this one because it's, it's pretty simple, uh, but let me just show you what the equation would be. Yeah, and so that was the equation there. So today, now what I can then do is I can put equals. Uh, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to then put equals that date there minus that date, and I'm going to use absolute referencing on the today's date. Yeah, so for and I'm going to drag this down from here. So here's the ages of all of these invoices that we're owed, and we can see which ones we're going to chase up and which ones we're going to write off as irrecoverable debts. So how did this work? Well, here, here, let's change the formats of these things to numbers instead. And that they're not actually dates. What they are are just numbers that are then converted into date format um, using the format using the uh, the formatting that we've used. So this today's date is actually. 43,484, and the date that that was created, whenever it was, was 43,009, and the difference between those was 475 days. So that's how Excel works. It has dates as numbers, and then it just changes it to uh, a date format, really. So what we can do then is we can use this kind of thing um, in terms of the dates to work out the differences between dates. Okay? And that's that's what the, that's what the, uh, the today um, one uses. The now one, here, yeah, so let's go equals now, and then open and close the brackets. There they are. You'll see it's added the time on the end. Not tending to be useful. You'll tend to use use time um, in, real, in reality um, between, um, uh, I tend to use it between different times to work out the length of time that somebody's working on a particular task. Uh, if I wanted a timesheet, let's say, for how they work and so I tend to use the times on on their own but if you use the now one it will put that and then it will put if we change that format to a number in here and leave the fractions in you'll see how it's added on that little 0.41 and I'll change the format into that and add a couple onto there and you'll see that so the today one returns the value of the date in terms of uh, just actually at midnight. The now one will return the value of the date plus the time on top. Is that useful? Not particularly. You'll tend to use today a lot. You won't tend to use now. Um, I hope that was useful for that, that bit. Now, what we'll tend, then I'm going to do is I'm going to use concatenate here. And there. So let's go back to... Um, our um, one which you might have seen where I was showing highlighting I think it was the function wizard I was I was demonstrating here um, and how did I sort of create this here did I go and type it all in um, I actually used ran between to just create create these but I've, I've, I've then solid um, made them solid so they didn't work and then what, what did I do here I used this function called concatenate because what I'd really like to do is I'd really like to stick uh, person first so I'd like it to go person it's like a little space in between and then I like this nine that I created here to change these people to have these people's um, names in there alternatively I might have let's say you've returned I've got for me um somebody's put Michael and then they put Morton and I want to really sort of actually and I've got something else somewhere else where actually the data comes out as Michael space Norton 
is one thing, and I'd quite like, but I need to be able to compare these two together. How do I do that? Well, again, I could I could stick this together, couldn't I? And I could use this concatenate function. So let's concatenate the before name plus a space plus the last name. Right now, is there a fast way to do or an easy way to do this? Because that that I think should uh, hope. Well, it might be sending your head spinning. It's not really helpful in the book either, really. Well, yes, of course there is. There's the function wizard, isn't there? Let's let's use that and let's start to use the function wizard for for pretty much all of our functions. So what did I do here? to do it for the function, using the function wizard for you. I went in and I switched the function wizard on. And let's just, see, we've got one there, where we've got our function wizard switched on here. Let's go back. So, you know, the function wizard comes up like here. And so go into the function wizard, hit insert function. Up comes here, the brief description. And put in concatenate into there. Oh, we'll come concatenate. Press uh, go and then press OK. On the concatenate that then comes up and it will look like this in here you actually have two boxes first but as you add more things into your concatenate these boxes will just keep keep going on and you just type in the text now you don't have to put the little speech marks in between there you just type in person it will then put them in for you you then now if you want if you put a little space in there it will then Put the little speech marks in for you when you press enter so you don't have to put those in in fact if you put them in they'll, it'll put them in on on top as well uh, so those don't go in those but those those appear when excel starts writing this equation for you and you can see here i stopped at that point this box isn't needed okay so that's how i wrote it and then press ok and what that does then is it converts it and creates created this equation here Put that for you without the little uh, equal sign of it. And so Excel then using it turned that box into that equation with a little equal sign in front. I didn't have to put those speech marks in there, it put them in for me, but they appear as soon as I press enter on that and it wrote it for me. Now I think that's the way that you're probably going to do concatenate is that you'll use the function wizard. Um, to, to do it. So that's how I think you, you should use it. Um, I hope that was helpful. Uh, I think that's enough. What I'm going to then do is uh, logic operations, quite intense. So I'm going to do that as a separate video. Um, and I'll do that in a, in a few days time. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for listening. Bye bye.